I just got back. I'm so glad to be home. Yeah, as you can hear from my voice, I'm not in a very good mood. Work today was rougher than usual. Got into a really big mess that puts my bistro in a tight situation. Don't mind me, though, Rumi. I'll just be sulking here on the couch for the next couple of moments. You want to hear what happened to me today? Why bother? All right, all right. If you insist, then I'll tell you. Maybe it'll help me feel better once I get it off my chest. So, to start things off, you already know about my bistro and what my job is, yes? Good, you remembered. Lately, my restaurant is becoming a more profitable business since new customers are drawn in from my new dishes that I make from time to time. However, maintaining to have customers being a regular to the bistro is starting to get tough. For one, some of my business partners have decided to stop selling ingredients to me for whatever reason. Normally, Jack can help offset this to a large degree with his skills in procuring our ingredients. But today, Jack said that his usual hunting ground for ingredients is being patrolled by the Zwei Association. He tried a few other places, but no luck. What he was able to bring back was far too few. Honestly, making great tasting dishes is one thing, but my ingredients are running low faster than I thought. Second, I had to deal with a lunch rush, and it got a little out of hand. I'm used to running the bistro alone, but I swear the rush today must have had twice as many people showing up as usual. I even had to call Jack to come back to the restaurant to help. And even then, we barely made it through the service. The most stressful moment was when one of the customers made a big commotion over how the food was taking too long to arrive, while another got fed up with the complaining and both were just about to pull out weapons. I don't even want to think about what would have happened if we didn't get through it, especially not when a good majority of our customers looked like syndicate members who just got done with a messy job. Lastly, as Jack and I were closing up, we had to deal with a few fixers. Apparently, a friend of a guy Jack nabbed paid some fixers to rescue the guy back from us. Luckily for us, those fixers must have been grade 8 or 9 since they all ran away once things looked bad for them. I guess they weren't paid enough to die over this one job. Jack and I didn't get out totally unscathed, though. They got a few good hits at me. After that... I made my way home to our apartment, and here I am, tired and still a little sore from that fight. Oh, on that note, thanks for listening to me rant. I guess you were right, since cheering and getting all of that off my chest does make me feel better. Wait, what was the sound just now? Oh, was that your stomach? Did you not eat dinner yet? Well, in that case, it's time for me to repay you back. Oh, relax. I know that you don't have a taste for what I cook back at my restaurant, so I'll be making you something a little different. All right, let me get in the kitchen and whip you up something good tonight. I want this to be a surprise, though, so... I'm not telling you what I'm making until it's ready, and don't even think about sneaking a look into the kitchen. Oh, don't worry about helping me out. I totally got this. You're going to love what I make. The ingredients for this dish should still be good and kept in the fridge somewhere. Alright, time to do what I do best. With my skills, I'll have this done in an hour.
Hey, the food is ready. Close your eyes as I bring it out. And don't open them until I say so. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Ta-da! Yes, I made pies. More specifically, it's chicken pot pie. The nights are starting to get colder, so I figured this tasty dish should fill us up while also warming us up. Judging from that first bite, it tastes perfect, doesn't it? Well then, dig in. It's best when it's still hot. Even though life can get quite tough, I'm still a great chef at the end of the day. That won't change anytime soon. <laughs>